Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Okay, I knew you were there because um, that was really stupid. Was that stupid? What's going on, fellow Drops fans? Uh, this is Haley here in the Pink Room studio at the one and only SF uh, Storefront and Playground, Fellows Storefront and Playground. I'm here to talk to you this week about a coffee from Miami, Florida. Uh, Perla Specialty Roasters brings us this wonderful natural Ethiopia yogurt chef today. Um, and we're going to brew through it, and I'm just going to let you know how I'm brewing it and let you loose to brew it at home. This coffee, as I said, is an Ethiopia Yergachev. Uh, it's a natural. It is grown at 1900 to 2100 meters above sea level, so right up there in altitude. Um, it's in the Gideo zone also is where it's from. Um, it's roasted in Miami, Florida, as I said, and I am brewing it at 22 grams in, 350 grams out standard. Um, I'm gonna bloom to about 44 or 45 grams of water, roughly double the amount of water as coffee I put in. Uh, I'm brewing at 205 degrees at a three and one third on Ode. Um, I'm not using SSPs today, but if I were using SSPs today, I would go four and one thirds third on Ode with SSP. Um, about, you know, standard medium to leaning into medium fine grind um, to push, push that uh, sweetness out of this coffee. Uh, so I'm gonna break my bloom at just around 35 seconds. Giving it a good 10 second pour, concentric circles out to in, in to out. Again, doesn't matter which way you go as long as you're in constant motion in those consistent circles. So second pour is up to 150. I'm doing a four stage pour as is my standard. So I go up to about 44, 45 for the bloom and then 150 to 250 to 350. Um, now my second pour, we're not quite ready for it yet. We want to get to where the water is just above the top of the slurry. All right, I'm gonna go for my second pour. This coffee was tasting to us like blueberry, your classic, your classic crumb cake, your classic blueberry Ethiopia Yergachev, uh, your classic Ethiopia Yergachev vibes. Um, it's got a little bit of like key lime and aloe at the end too, which makes it super refreshing, which is, um, sort of unusual for a natural Africa coffee, right? But it's like, it makes it really, really refreshing. Uh, very, very clean. And as we're waiting for the last pour here, I also wanna let you know that if you are in or around Miami to go check out uh, House of Perla, Perla's Cafe in Coral Gables, Florida, um, definitely go check them out because we're really, really stoked on this like really bright, really clean, really refreshing. It's got like every, all of the, it hits all of the marks that you want out of a natural for sure. Now I'm gonna pour my last pour up to 350 grams and then let you know that as always, ordering from Fellow Drops is really easy. All you have to do is text us back uh, the number of bags that you want after we let you know what coffee we're sending out that week. Um, you can text one, two, ten. Again, I'm not here to judge. We'll send you as much coffee as you like or as little coffee as you like, including zero. As always, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Please let us know what you'd like to see us do. Maybe you want to see a different brew method next week. Um, whatever your wish is generally can be our command. So uh, thanks again for being here. I have been and will continue to be Haley. And we'll see you next week for another brew guide.